In this lesson, we're going to look at reverse volume questions. Questions where you're given the volume and you're working out the height or the radius. Okay, so the advice at the top here is substitute in what you know. That means put the numbers in that you already have values for. The thing about this question that people find funny is you actually have to put a value in for V. And quite often people are a bit uncomfortable about that. They quite are quite happy to put numbers on this side of the formula, but when you have to put numbers on the other side, it becomes, people think, a bit confusing. But let's look at see, see how it works. So we're told that the volume of the cylinder is 535 metres cubed. So you put that in here, 535, because we know that bit of information, that V is 535. We know what pi is. We know what the radius is. We're told it here, it's 4. So we can have 4 squared, but we don't know what the height is, so we put times h. So this time our unknown is the h, not the v when we use the formula normally. We're trying to work out the h. Now the trick to this kind of calculation is to do this bit first. Do this calculation here in your calculator. Do Type in 3.14 times 4 squared, or pi times 4 squared. Write the 535 down again, write the times h down again, but work this bit out. And it comes to 50.24. So now the question is really saying, what do you multiply 50.24 to get 535? We've got a calculator here. So all we have to do is divide these two numbers. The correct way around, you divide by the 50.24 because you're trying to find how many of these go into 535. So h equals 535 divided by 50.24, and we'll get our height, which is 10.65. Look back at the example and see if it makes any sense. 10.65 metres, this is 4, that looks a bit right. OK, let's have a look at a cone. Same idea, a reverse volume. We're asked for the height. So... Put the values in that you know. We know the volume's 80, so put 80 in. We have a, a one third times, we know what pi is. The radius from here is 3, so we've got a 3 squared there. Uh, but we don't know what the height is, so we'll leave that as times h. Again, same idea, do this calculation first, this bit in here with all the numbers. So type into your calculator 1 divided by 3 times 3.14 times 3 squared. Do all that in your calculator. Write the 80 down as normal. Write the times h as normal. And this bit comes to 9.42. So again, we're down to 9.42 times what makes 80. And you do a division. You divide by the 9.42. So 80 divided by 9.42 gives us our height of 8.49 metres.